After two weeks in Belize, I took a seven-hour bus ride to Flores, Guatemala. While watching sunset, a man came up to me and we struck up a conversation. How would you describe what Flores, Guatemala is like to someone that hasn't been here? To me, Flores is a peaceful place. How is it from like a financial standpoint living here? For example, for a teacher, for a construction guy, for a waitress, uh, you can afford to live in Flores. You can't? No. Mm. It's a little too expensive. The rent and stuff. For construction, like how much would you think you make every month if you had to calculate it? I should be making like around 6000 okay? Okay. But, the people that I was working, I'm making like 2500 Yeah. $2,500, which is $350 or so. Yes. And how much do you pay for rent? For rent, I would say just a normal, just a little room, you know? Uh -huh. I would say $750. $750. $750. Yes. A third of it goes to rent. Yes. We can afford McDonald's or Burger King. It's to make it like that. You can't afford McDonald's or Burger King? We can't afford it. Why? How much is a burger burger at Burger King? Or Fucking McDonald's? 50 quetzales, man. 55, 50, 60 quetzales. You know what I mean? If you have a girlfriend, hey, if you're not making more than 100 quetzales, you have to work at least two days, you know? To, to afford a burger. To afford a fucking Burger King, you know what I'm talking about? That's how crazy yeah. it is. So Burger King and McDonald's are like, that's... That's yes, high yes, class. yes, high class. People that work there, they think they're the shit. As we parted ways, he pointed to a tall tree on top of a mountain across the lake and told me that is the best place to go see sunrise. Back at the hostel, I made a friend and we both decided to go look for this place for sunrise. My main objective in Flores was to go see the Mayan ruins in Tikal, but upon arrival, they denied me entry with my 360 camera. So you're gonna have to go see that one for yourself. After spending a few days in Flores, I took another eight hour bus ride to Lanking, Guatemala. Just for the record, this is not the bus that we were in for eight hours. This is the bus that the hostel sent to pick us up from town. The next few days are chaos, so you'll see. <laughs> 